wanted to show you this hybrid exciter and I hope that I'm going to be able to do it without destroying the audio and the video. Uh, there's so much energy coming out of here that I hope I even get it done before it burns up. I've had real trouble with it burning out the LEDs while we're in operation. Uh, let me show you the layout here. This wire right here merely goes up to the spectrum analyzer. Uh, these are three L3 coils right here. This is going through a resistor to ground. That's a one meg resistor to keep the impedance up. I have four super white LEDs here. The output, and I'm going to try to stay away from it and zoom in because if I get the camera close we're going to lose the audio. The output is going through this 470 uh, mica down here to this L3 coil which joins with the bottom of this L3 which is feeding the AV plug which is the power input uh, to the exciter. We have the proprietary transistor looks exactly like an AO6 but it has our special markings on it. The capacitor for tuning is an air capacitor. It gives me a little better range than those small ceramics that I normally use. And also the L3 here, there's nothing special about that. It's hollow, there's no batteries. But <laughs> we just, that's the problem. What I want to do is get this thing fastened down because as I move things around, these coils will jostle. And this thing will go into such self-oscillation that it will actually destroy itself. But anyway, uh, it's in self-oscillation mode now. The output's being fed back into the input with the phase shifting through this L3 into the AV plug. The initial excitation is coming off of the ground connection through that one meg resistor. We're driving four super white LEDs. It's capable of all 12. As soon as I mount these coils so they're stable and they won't move around on me, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the 12 and demonstrate that. The spectrum of it is fairly clean. It's not some of the mess that you see on some of the others. The primary frequency there on the left that we have the marker on is at 9.3 megahertz. So basically that's it. Uh, you can see that everything's kind of socketed here on, on the board. This is one of the prototype uh, hybrid boards. This is our normal uh, 10 microfarad filter capacitor off of the power rail these 0.1 RF capacitors that are on the board and of course the tuning. So anyway that's it and it looks like we've made it. Uh, move this stuff around. You can kill it quite easily though because we're operating at such a high impedance that you can see that you touch the right thing and you'll, you'll bring the energy down. But We'll show you more here later. Just want to get this one up so you can take a look at it.